Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to Las Vegas. Lisa Martin with Stu Miniman. We are on day one of theCUBE's coverage of Dell Technology World 2019. We've got two sets, lots of great guests, lots of great conversations already. We're pleased to welcome to theCUBE for the first time, Micah Pigeon, Senior Director of Education Services at Dell Technologies. Mike, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thanks for having me. Our pleasure. So here we are talking about digital transformation. We've been talking about it for a long time. Yes. I loved how last year's Dell Technologies World was make it real, it being digital transformation, IT, workforce transformation, security. This year it's all about real transformation. We talk a lot about the technologies. What are some of the other things though that companies need to be thinking about as enablers of this transformation? Sure, great, great question. And obviously uh, the technology is a huge part of it, right? Uh, but of course, uh, myself being from Dell Technologies Education Services, uh, a big focus on the people. So that is what we see as an additional critical focus uh, because at the end of the day, uh, digital transformation is, is big. It's really big. And technology alone isn't going to suffice, right? It's not going to be just that. So focus on the people. And you know, we hear it time and again from our customers, um, from, from research in the market, that you know, one of the, the top three actually uh, barriers from customers and organizations driving uh, adoption and uh, success in digital transformation comes down to having the right skill sets in place. Yeah, so Mike, I'm glad we have you on. We just had your chief customer officer, Karen Quintos, on, yes. and she was talking a little bit about the skills gap. So we, we know how many customers, how many people we're going to need to have, and you know, half of the half of the programs we're going to need is going to need going to require retraining of you know my workforce there. So you know, we we've talked for years with uh, you know what used to be EMC and now Dell Education Services. Sure. Uh, you know from storage certifications to converge certifications to cloud certifications. So, you know, what, what's the latest and greatest? What is the kind of go-to skill set that people need and yep. uh, the ones that, you know, people are calling up saying, oh my gosh, if I can learn this, yep. uh, you know, it's going to really, you know, catapult my career. Yeah, so the Dell Technologies now, Dell Technologies proven professional program has been in place for years. A lot of uh, uh, industry recognized certifications, to your point, a lot focus on storage, data protection, product related, and uh, over the past 12 months to 18 months, we've actually done a lot of expansion beyond that into more areas of transformation. And those areas where we've expanded beyond just product have been tied back right to that skills gap that we're seeing in customers and what they're challenged with as they drive uh, digital transformation. So some examples being uh, more of a focus on converged infrastructure, hybrid cloud, uh, we have some associate level certifications we recently brought to market there. Uh, Multi-cloud, that's a big focus for us. Obviously some of the, uh, the discussion and announcements this morning uh, focus around multi-cloud and they talked about cloud chaos, right? So we have uh, some expert level certification in place focused on that. We, we also have a focus around security and uh, specifically designing infrastructure with that security first mindset and then finally, the other uh, most recent transformational type of certification is a master level. So think of it a career pinnacle level certification that's focused on uh, uh, transformational architecture. Yeah, Mike, just to follow up on that, one of the things I hear in multi-cloud is there's certain technologies that might allow us to move, but one of the biggest challenges is skill set. Because Absolutely. if I learn and I understand how to configure it and how to manage it and how to do it here, and if I move somewhere else, even if uh, it's 70% the same, oh my gosh, that's yeah. not awesome. Yeah. Uh, can you just, I wonder if you could step back and give some, you know, what you see out there and you know, what works today and where do we need to go as an industry as a whole uh, yeah. to try to help users uh, to live in this yeah. multi-cloud world that we're already in, yeah. but struggling with. Yeah, I mean there's a ton of proficiency in, uh, in the silos, right? In, in managing specific infrastructure, server storage network, uh, now also around converged infrastructure, as well as cloud deployments. But to your point, uh, in a multi-cloud environment, there are different providers, both private and public, 
uh, different technologies, and it gets it can get complex fairly quick, right? So having the skill sets to to kind of take a step back and look at that holistically, and understand uh, about workload placement. You know, there's, there's knowledge and skill sets that are required to make some of those determinations. We obviously have a lot of services capabilities that help provide that, but there's a level of, uh, obviously, proficiency that our customers want and need in-house as well. So a lot of it is building that knowledge and, and understanding uh, the decision points and the criteria for the different providers as well as workload placement and uh, movement across that multi-cloud environment. Century. Very different than skill sets in the past. Sorry about that. Very excited. Um, I'm curious about, if we talk about talent and retention with respect to some of the guys and gals who've been around for a while, Michael mentioned on stage this morning that later this week is Dell's 35th anniversary in business. And as we look at you know, all the technology transformations and multi-cloud world that we live in that Stu mentioned, what are some of the benefits for, I don't want to say, an, older population, but say the veterans of technology, why, what are some of the things that Dell Technologies Education Services will deliver to say that more seasoned individual to stay relevant and be able to adapt as quickly as technology is so that they're competitive yeah. for jobs themselves? Yeah, yeah, great, great question. And I mean, it's, it's the pace of change is so fast and it's impacting everyone. Everyone from, from uh, recent college graduates, Right, getting right into the, the field that, that we're in, in, in technology, as well as to your point, seasoned veterans who've been around for a while. And that's where a lot of the, the difficult transformation is taking place, right? Because it's, it's the roles uh, of the past and today, the skill sets of today, like th those roles and skills that have gotten us to today are, are very different than what's needed to get us to tomorrow. And, and that's where a lot of our, our technical training, our curricula, as well as our, our industry certifications come into play in helping build that knowledge, the required and the skills uh, and, and the certifications to validate those capabilities for the next generation workforce. So it's, it's really for the right out of school and maybe new to the field as well as evolving throughout their career. All right, so Mike, we, we know that your team's doing things throughout the year, talking to your customers, but you got 15,000 people here at Dell yes. Tech World. Um, I, I, I've, I've seen the hands-on labs, I know there's always certifications, so give us from your team you know, some of the big focus, uh, some of the activities, and some of the takeaways you want people to have uh, yeah. for, for, from your, your you know, team. You know, the one big thing I would uh, give a plug for is our Proven Professional Center. So right downstairs here in Casanova 501, uh, we have 57 certifications available and we have uh, hundreds and hundreds of customers and partners that will be uh, taking certification exams and, and achieving certifications this week. All right, so we have a promotional offer. So every attempt, uh, attempt at, first attempt at every exam is free just for this week. So I encourage everyone who's here to, to check it out. In addition to, uh, to taking those certifications in preparation for that, we have, uh, we have 29 different preparation sessions that we're running. So right downstairs, two rooms next door where we're rotating through on topics that are specific to uh, our latest and greatest product lines, Power, Power Max, Power Edge MX. Uh, in addition to that, cloud focus, data science, certification prep sessions, uh, multi-cloud expert, there's a whole array of prep sessions that are helping uh, our customers and partners uh, prepare for taking those certifications. AI, machine learning. There are some, uh, some intersections with that as well, certainly as part of our data science curriculum and uh, certification exams. And where are customers in terms of discussing with you, say maybe at last year's Dell Technologies World, like hey, these are some of the certifications and the trainings that we really need. Talk about that sort of bi-directional symbiosis where customers are I'm assuming, helping you, the teams, identify, yeah. develop, and then deliver the spot on trainings. Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. So we're actually every year here at uh, Dell Technologies World, we have a customer advisory council. And uh, actually the last two years, it came out loud and clear last year, was uh, more of a focus in some of the areas that they're challenged with from a transformation perspective. 
security came into play in a big way. Uh, different aspects of cloud and multi-cloud, um, enterprise architecture. Um, uh, a lot of uh, our focus related to uh, Pivotal and some of the offerings there, uh, application development. So all of that feedback and discussion that we have into customers actually feeds into our prioritization and road mapping and it has a big impact on the, on the technical training and the certifications that we bring to market. So we're going to be with our customers you know, throughout today, also tomorrow, and that'll be additional input to where we, where we go in the future. All right. Uh Mike, uh, what other feedback are, are you hearing from customers? You know, we, we hear in the keynote some of these you know, broad topics and you talk about you know, AI and IoT and edge computing and how much does that funnel back and are they, are they looking for help on that now or you know, how do they start getting themselves ready for some of these massive waves that are coming? Yeah, that's definitely part of the themes that we hear and, and, and the feedback that we get from customers and what's really relevant to them and um, that ties into their skills transformation as well. As you said, IOT, AIML, um, uh, data engineer, that's a, a more recent role that we're focusing on. Uh, and you'll see uh, a bunch coming out from Dell Technologies Ed Services on that in the not too distant future. So a lot of that, those themes are, we hear the exact same, same customer base. Um, and, and those are areas that we're, we're addressing in, in our roadmap and as we bring new uh, technical training offerings to market. So listening to your customers is key, as, as Stu mentioned, we were talking to Karen Kintis a little bit earlier, that that's essential pretty much for any role, but you're listening, you're taking that into account, you're designing and, and delivering for that. A lot of benefits, we can talk about it for the, the individuals going through the training, right, in terms of upskilling and job retention, but from, a, from your customer's perspective, you have a favorite yeah. example of a customer who's really been able to transform their company because they've made this investment mm -hmm. in ensuring that their talent has the latest and greatest education. Yeah, yeah, actually, you know what, we've seen, uh, we've done a bunch of research and, and market, what, what we see time and again is there's a really, really strong correlation between those organizations that are focusing on and investing in um, their people and the skills development, the correlation between that and the progress and success that they're having with, uh, with their transformation initiatives, right? And one area that, that where we've been engaging a lot deeper with customers as of just recent and beginning to do a lot more of is we call it an organizational learning program. So we obviously offer technical training and certifications, but this is more of a uh, consultative engagement with our customers, more at the organizational level. And uh, very consultative, and we work closely with them to understand their digital strategy, their plans, and as part of that, drive a very uh, prescriptive assessment of what's going on in their environment from a people and skills perspective. So really understanding their current state, and where they want to go, where they need to be. And based upon the findings of that assessment, we work closely with them to develop a defined documented strategy and plan. In this case, it's a learning plan. It's a continuous learning plan for that organization over a series of quarters to, to work against and drive and really uh, capture, gain those skills and knowledge that's required to help move them forward. Yeah, Mike, I, I love that. It reminds me of the joke uh, in your space is, what if we give them new skills and they leave? And of course the alternative is, what if we don't give them new skills and they stay? Exactly. <laughs> so, I, I want, uh, last thing I wanted to ask is, Talk a little bit about internal. There's a lot of change going on. You've, you've been uh, you know, from the EMC to the Dell for quite a few years. Oh, I yes. won't say how many, uh, <laughs> just to protect the innocent. Um, but uh, you know, one of the things, I mean, I spent 10 years at EMC and the, inter the training was something that helped me a lot in my career. Talk a little bit about you know, what, what's changed and how you help the internal teams and all the different groups stay up on the latest and greatest yeah, uh, areas. Absolutely, so in ed education services, to your point, we support our employees, technical employees around the globe, our partners and customers. So huge focus on, on enabling those employees. And if you think about it, right, they are, they're the front lines. They're the folks that are with our customers and they need to be as up to speed, if not more up to speed in these, uh, these areas of technology. So we have a, a massive undertaking 
to enable our, our services audiences, pre-sales systems engineers, um, our, our consultants around the globe to ensure that uh, they are, are, are up to speed and, and uh, quite knowledgeable on the latest and greatest technologies and, and really how those come to life within our customer environments. Seems like maybe education services is a, is a catalyst for this internal cultural transformation that we're seeing from Dell Technologies. It absolutely is. It's, it's transformation everywhere. It's internal, it's external, and at the end of the day, kind of back to where we started, right? It, it comes down to the people. It's our, our customers and, and us as a company are our most important asset. And at the end of the day, um, you know, the people need the right skills and uh, to, to, to be successful and to go digital. Great stuff, Mike. Thank you so much for joining Stu and me on theCUBE this afternoon and sharing all that you're doing to help transform Dell Education Services for your internal folks and your customers alike. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. For Stu Miniman, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching us live from Las Vegas, day one of theCUBE's coverage of Dell Technology World 2019. Thanks for watching.